Becoming the best climber in your cycling group takes dedication, practice, and patience. Here are some tips that can help you improve your climbing skills. Welcome to the program. You're watching Sean Bike. My name is Sean Santa Maria. Before we begin the video, I want to be clear about two things. Dalawang bagay lang. Number one, I want to be clear that this is not a shortcuts video. Okay? To be a better climber, walang, uh, walang cutting corners dyan eh. It requires dedication and hard work and patience. Uh, you have to put in the work. And the material you're about to watch today um, is not about shortcuts and magic formulas, nothing like that, right? That's number one. Number two, I want to be clear that I'm not the best climber in my cycling groups, plural groups, because uh, I belong to uh, a few cycling groups. And as you know, I am a, I'm, I'm an RCC ride leader. I am not the best climber. I'm a decent climber. I could climb, but I could name many you know, cyclists na mas malalakas pa sa akin talaga. I'm far from them. And uh, that's precisely why I'm making this video. Diba? I want to get better. I'm a work in progress. And what you're about to watch is a result of a little bit of research, a little bit of personal experience, a little bit of uh, observations and uh, lessons from uh, other fellow cyclists who are stronger than me. So uh, I think you're going to enjoy this. If you want to be a better climber or... Uh, if uh, you simply want to be a better cyclist overall, stick around. Build your endurance. Climbing is a physically demanding activity that requires a lot of endurance. So start by incorporating longer steady state rides into your training routine to build up your cardiovascular fitness. So gradually increase your mileage over time to build your endurance. I want to give you a real world scenario, okay? Um, hindi po kit daily rider ka, maganda na endurance mo. There's a difference. So let's say you're a bike to work person. Your office is uh, four kilometers away, five kilometers away from home. You get on your commuter bike, you get on your MTB, you do 5K each way, a total of 10. You now you leave 5.30 in the morning, sun's not out, traffic's easy. Um, pero, yeah, so you've been doing that for five years, let's say. Tapos biglang nagkaroon ng long ride, nagkayayaan, marami akyatan. Um, hindi necessarily na yung rider na yun malakas. You could be a daily rider, but uh, if, uh, if your rides aren't endurance building, if they aren't long enough, if they're not challenging enough, you won't achieve your, your climbing goals. So I want to be sure that you understand the distinction between a, uh, a regular, non-challenging bike ride. Kahit araw-araw pa yan, if you don't push yourself, if you don't do endurance riding, um, it's not going to help you become a better climber. Focus on your technique. Climbing requires good form and technique to be efficient and avoid wasting energy. Practice climbing while maintaining a steady cadence and focus on maintaining a relaxed upper body. Shift gears smoothly and maintain an even pedal stroke throughout the climb. Obviously, form and technique are super important. I used to be a, uh, a, an irresponsible, reckless climber. You know, I, I love to sprint, but when it comes to climbs, I would build momentum before hitting that hill. I look up, the road is long. You can't see the end. Look at my computer, 12, 13%. It's ridiculous. I, I, I won't keep up with my buddies kung ganon. And uh, I've observed some of uh, the more uh, uh, senior riders, no? Mga mas matagal nang nagbibisikleta sa akin. Mauunahan ko sa hill. Mahaba yung hill, ha? Akit ng taktak, mga ganyan. Tapos, uh, babagal ako bigla. Because I was employing the wrong technique. I was not minding my breathing. My cadence was all over the place. Mashing, mashing, mashing. Ubus ako bigla. Then the more senior, more seasoned riders, maunahan ako. Tapos makikita mo, maunahan mo na. No? Just staring at them. And wondering, how do these guys do it? Ayan, steady cadence. Proper breathing. May technique sila eh. May technique. This is not a technique video. No, we're not gonna enumerate the techniques. But uh, the basic idea of uh, uh, focusing on technique and form is that 
you have to treat the client with respect. If you're left to your own devices, if you don't know any better, hahata ko eh, just like what I did before. Diba? There's steps to get to the goal. And uh, that includes proper breathing and form, relaxed upper body. Uh, it also invo- it involves upstrokes then to conserve energy. So technique and form, hindi pwedeng bara bara. Train for hill repeats. Hill repeats are an effective way to build strength and endurance for climbing. Find a hill that is challenging but manageable and repeat the climb several times in a row. Gradually increase the number of repeats and the intensity of the climb as your fitness improves. So as far as hill repeats are concerned, I don't do this regularly and I know I should. Uh, ang thinking ko kasi, uh, when I go to a place na hilly na rin naman, for example, uh, dito malapit sa amin, there's a place called uh, Victoria. No, uh, akyatan yun. Uh, papuntang San Pedro Laguna yun eh. And uh, akyatan yun, hilly. And uh, the hills are punchy. And there's several of that uh, going and coming back. So, ganun na siya. Yun ang iniisip kong hill repeats eh. But uh, the hill repeats that we're talking about here are the real hill repeats where you pick a hill and uh, just do that hill several times. Yun lang yun. Mas may, uh, mas may discipline yun eh. Mas may training mode yun eh. And I think when you're, uh, when you're in that zone, when you're, when you're in that training mindset, when you're intentional about it, mas may gains. Okay? But you know what? Uh, if there's a hill, if there's a section that's hilly, three climbs going, three climbs coming back, do that na rin. Do that na rin. Uh, probably do three or four rounds if uh, you know that section is manageable and reasonable. 6K total and do it three times. You know, you get uh, you get 18K out of it. There's hills. Sige, pwede na to start. But, but the real hill reps would be just picking a hill with a, a reasonable gradient. Wag ka naman pipili ng mga 17, 18%. You're, you're not gonna get anything out of that either. Kasi napakahirap. It's gonna be difficult for you to actually repeat. No? So pick a hill na just under double digits and uh, do that several times. And as you go on, as your endurance uh, gets better, as your, as your fitness level gets better, do more or find a steeper hill. So hill repeats. Maintain a healthy weight. Climbing requires a lot of power to weight ratio, which means that having a lower body weight can make climbing easier. Focus on maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise. This is plain and simple, my dear friends. The heavier you are, the more challenging it is going to be for you to climb. Ganun lang yan. Uh, take a look at the very best climbers in the world. Tade Pogacar, Jonas Vingegaard, Primoz Roglic. Ang ninipis niyan. We don't aspire to be them and we may never be like them, no? But how they look has a lot to do with uh, where they are right now. Maninipis, magagaang. Yun lang naman yung basic concept natin. If you're heavy, power to weight ratio talaga ang usapan eh. It will be more difficult for you to haul yourself up that hill. So, um, it's a cycle, no? You're cycling. You want to get better in climbing, pero mabigat ka. Do it more, di ba? Focus on endurance. Akyatin mo pa rin. Focus on your cadence. Bagalan mo lang. Tahiin mo yung hill if you want. But as long as you're big and you want to be a better climber, mataba ka, gusto mong lumakas sa climbing, just ride and ride and ride. Get up that hill anyway. In the process, you're going to lose weight. So it's kind of something that takes care of itself. You love cycling anyway. Get out there, get on your bike, ride up that hill. Practice mental toughness. Climbing can be mentally challenging, especially on long or steep climbs. Practice positive self-talk and visualization techniques to help you stay focused and motivated during climbs. Okay, so I love this item, practicing mental toughness. Um, allow me to share uh, my uh, uh, my thing 
when it comes to mental toughness. And some of my friends know this, na share ko na to sa kanila eh. So, umakit ka, no? Kasama ka. Uh, minsan hindi ko tinatanong, how you doing? Ang tanong ko is, have you met yourself yet? Have you met yourself yet? Kasi sa akin minsan, when, uh, when you're climbing, you're suffering a little bit, you're in pain, zone 5 ka na, mas mahaba pa, pero you're feeling good na kaya mo pa. Minsan, um, you're not actually seeing what's in front of you. Alam mo na andyan, may awareness ka, but you're not really seeing, you're just looking. Naririnig mo yung nasa paligid mo, but you're not really listening. ba? Diba? So parang um, yung senses mo, nasa ibang dimension na siya. So when that happens, when you're all alone, no, you're all alone with yourself na. For some people, that's a dangerous place to be. Diba? Ang joke nga ni Dale minsan, uh, pag kinakausap mo na sarili mo, ang mahirap niyan pag hindi mo rin kasundo sarili mo eh. <laughs> so, may ganun. Pero when I'm in that state, when I'm all alone, na ako na lang ang kasama ko, ang tawag ko doon, meeting myself. Ayan. Ang lumalabas bigla dyan, my wife and my daughter. At, uh, that's good. That's good. Suddenly, the important things show up. And the important things happen to be people. And these are the two most important people in my life. My wife and my daughter. So I, I think about my daughter singing. I think about uh, taking walks with my wife. Mga ganyan. And uh, they get me going. They get me going. Hindi ako bibilis. Pero they, they, they keep me on the bike and they keep me pedaling. So yan yung uh, mental toughness uh, aid ko. No, I, 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 I go to a certain place inside my head. The important people in my life show up. Sige, I'm going. Pero titingin pa rin ako sa heart rate ko. Pag talagang zumo zone 5 na ako, I, 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 I temper. Inaayos ko yung cadence ko. Binabagaan ko. Kung kailangan tumigil, titigil ako. Because I don't want to go home to them inside a bag. Ride with a group. Riding with a group can help you push yourself harder and improve your climbing skills. Find a group of cyclists who are at a similar fitness level and join them for regular rides that include hills and climbs. You know one of the great things about having a cycling group is that there's uh, different personalities, different riding styles. Iba-iba din yan eh. You might be similar in a way na you all like long rides or you all like climbing. But the, the fitness levels and the, the styles and techniques and the, 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 their certain disciplines, they will vary. And the beauty about that is that you can pick certain people in your tropa na pwedeng samahan on certain days. Diba? So you go with the climbers if uh, you want to be a better climber. Diba? Observe and learn from them. Ask them what they're doing. Copy them. And do your own research na rin and share what you know. Writing with a group is great. It's great. Minsan tinatamad ka lumabas pero pag schedule yung friend mo, game. Diba? Minsan, on certain days, ayaw mo na pero pag nagaya siya, tara, ride mamaya, hapon. You're gonna go for it because uh, more than the riding, sometimes it's the company. Minsan, mas masarap mag-coffee kaysa mag-ride. Pero rin, ride mo pa rin yun. Diba? Any kind of riding will do. As long as you ride, if, if you're intentional about uh, getting more fit, Basta mag-ride ka lang. Pero if you want to focus on becoming a better climber, ride with friends na climbing din yung gusto. Or better yet, ikaw na rin na mag Tomorrow is climbing day. Let's go to Sampalo. Let's do it. So may kantsawa ng konti dyan. Ikaw, Sampalo, tigas ha, yabang mo ha. Kaya tell them, I want to be a better climber. I want you to get better with me. So yan yung... So that's it guys. Remember, being the best climber in your group requires patience and practice and dedication. Do you have to be the best climber? Because that's what this video is about. You don't necessarily have to be the best. But if you aim to be the best, you're definitely gonna get better. So, chaga alang yan and employing the proper techniques and being gracious about it and respecting climbing. Kasi kailangan ng work talaga. And of course, I know I didn't cover everything in this video. Hindi natin dinitalya talaga. Hindi tayo nag go into specifics and some uh, really personal uh, techniques and methods of some of uh, uh, the, the good climbers out there. If you happen to be one and if you have techniques that you want to share, please do so. 
lagay sa comments. Follow me on Instagram. I-message nyo ako doon. Doon nyo rin lagay. Mas una ko nakikita kasi sa Instagram. Okay? That's it for the video. You guys always ride safe. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. See you next time. Thank you.